all of you are welcome to second branch youth today we are introducing chemistry this video is not only useful for grade 10 11 students but also newcomers of 11 what is the chemistry what we learn in chemistry we learn about matter in chemistry the structure of matter and the behavior of matter that there are two components in universe one is matter other one is energy what is the energy energy is the ability of work what is the matter matter is the substance which has mass and volume in the chemistry we are learning about matter the matter also uh, consists of two parts one is the elements other is the compounds compounds are consist of um, uh, two or more than two elements for convenience the chemistry divided into subtopics what are these subtopics one is the general chemistry all of you are general chemistry parts in your all lives atomic structure and the atomic models such as Rutherford model uh, Thomson model Bohr model such as and the electron configuration these are in general chemistry and the uh, chemical bonding covalent bonding ionic bonding these are in general chemistry and the about periodic table, history of periodic table, these are learning general chemistry. In elements and after elements, we are learning further about general chemistry. The second one is the inorganic chemistry. The, we are learning the inorganic chemistry about inorganic compounds. All of you are learning about the sodium, reactions of sodium, reactions of magnesium. The magnesium react with water designed in organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. In organic chemistry, we are learning about organic compounds. About the uh, CH4 that means methane, that means biogas, we are learning the organic chemistry. Not only the biogas, all of you are learning about the carbohydrates, proteins, those are in organic chemistry. This is we are learning organic compounds in organic chemistry. Physical chemistry, fourth one is physical chemistry. What do we learn in physical chemistry? We are learning physical chemistry, the relation between energy and the matter. Some reactions happening that release the energy. For example, we are born in butane at the LP gas, or if you are known as the LP gas, the butane. Butane react with oxygen release energy. This energy is used for our cooking purposes. Physical, in physical chemistry. In the olivers, we have learned about the rate of the reactions, that means the speed of the reactions, design physical chemistry. Actually, all the chemistry concepts, basic concepts, principles are in general chemistry, in organic chemistry. In organic chemistry and physical chemistry. These four topics, four subtopics, four sub actually uh, subjects give the basic knowledge about chemistry to the students. This basic knowledge we can apply in our purposes. These are applications. This knowledge, how we apply it to our purposes? First, first, industrial chemistry. In industrial chemistry, we are applying this knowledge to produce valuable products. In all of us, we have done downside method. Da in downside method, we are extracting uh, sodium metal from the sodium chloride and the 
calcium oxide. We are getting the calcium oxide from the calcium carbonate. We are learning industrial chemistry in elements. We are learning about the how to extract titanium, how to produce alloys, how to uh, produce sodium hydroxide, and then how to use this sodium hydroxide to produce soap and how to produce biodiesel. Those are industrial chemistry. Further, in, uh, in your further education, in your, in your university, university education, you are how to produce the tire. And how to produce the paint while learning industrial chemistry. This knowledge applies for our qualities. Environmental chemistry. What we learn in environmental chemistry. These industrial activities and human activities sometimes influence our environment. It is caused to damage our environment. You have hurt. I think we have heard about global warming, about uh, acid rains, and the uh, damage of the ozone layer. These are we learn in environmental chemistry. We must have the knowledge how to minimize environmental pollution and damage the environment. We can't stop. We can't stop actually our activities. We must do our activities damaging or minimizing damage in the environment and some environmental reactions how we use it for our purposes we learn in environmental chemistry the biochemistry the biochemistry we are learning about how the how uh, the reactions happen in biological systems such as our human body and uh, in microorganisms uh, and the in the plant what is how it happened in these reactions? All of you are know in the all of us. Uh, what happened the proteins in our digestive system? What happened the uh, carbohydrates in our digestive system? Proteins convert into the amino acids. Carbo uh, starch and most of carbohydrates convert into the glucose. We are learning biology. How we get the energy? by burning glucose in our cells. It is in, in the uh, normal temperature, actually body temperature, not in the high temperature. We are learning biochemistry. The biochemistry knowledge also sometimes used to produce industrial works, such as the uh, liquor production, ethanol production from the carbohydrates. These are the subtopics of Chemistry, main subtopics. Some some people nuclear chemistry also included in the chemistry, but uh, main topics are these. These uh, chemistry main topics and the chemistry you can learn in our institute. You can contact me for group classes, not only the group classes, for the online classes for local areas and. Ericsson Cambridge Generals and the further similar exams, you can contact me. If the contact number is not double seven four zero seven eight zero five five. You contact you can contact me. And the uh, WhatsApp why you can use to contact me. Okay, all of you. Thank you for all of you.